Hello guys. Uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, how to find a capable person from CV because I still very often encounter the contradiction that a not so standard person with competence is rated low and a person wearing Chanel and Ferragamo with no competence is rated high. I feel very upset about the situation where talented people are being buried, not standing out and drawing the short straw. So why people hire the Chanel Ferragamo idiot and why people can't choose a great guy with true worth but not wearing Chanel or Ferragamo? These are all metaphors though. So I would like to share with you the wisdom of choosing a competent but quiet person who is sitting exactly next to the Chanel Ferragamo asshole. Please don't misunderstand me, I love Chanel and Ferragamo per se. So let's get started. By the way, the title of this YouTube itself looks like only for business. But this wisdom is useful for identifying people in various situations, not just at work. For example, if you choose a partner with no ability, you have to work a lot more than when you are single. Especially after marriage, women in particular need support from their partner because the wife is going to juggle housekeeping, cooking and work. But if the partner is not capable, wife side will be the only one who is struggling. Also, if the other person is not capable, there is no time to care for others. If you start living under the same roof with such a person with no ability, a great disaster will occur. I think it's good to use this wisdom as one of the guidelines as you interact with people in the future. I have randomly selected two people from LinkedIn. Personal details such as country, residence, company are not disclosed, so don't worry. Because all you need to use this wisdom is when and which direction they moved not which company they belong. To use this wisdom, it needs birthday information, but I couldn't get exactly when, but just birth year. So on this video, I use only birth year information to find out who they really are. In a normal hiring interview, you'd ask some questions and let the person talk about what he or she has done in the past and find out what kind of process he or she went through and what kind of result he or she achieved. At the same time, you would have them talk about what kind of choices they would make and what kind of actions they would take in a hypothetical situation to see if they would fit into the company's culture. Actually, it is possible for you to get all you want to know, like above, if you see some one point in CV with using this direction with them without asking to them. Okay, so let's start from guy A. This person is from the same school that Prince William graduates from and also is a graduate of the same university that Eddie Redmayne graduates from. <laughs> Chanel and Ferragamo. <laughs> At first glance, there are a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous things written in a way that creates an image of a person worthy of a high salary. No one would doubt it, I guess. Next, Guy B. Uh, this man is from a university around 90 to 100 in the world. He holds an MBA from high-ranked university. In other words, he is very intelligent. I think we can say that he also wears Chanel and Ferragamo as well. Actually, I have been managing a fitness studio for 12 years, so I'm not an expert in the field that people like Guy A and Guy B are in, so I don't know much about what exactly they do, but there are enough information here to find which one has true ability. So here is today's point. People with ability will flourish in the Northwest at the best time. Let's just be the formula for today because there are many other ways to find out who they are with other directions and timing. But the story got too big and uh, the audience probably got bored. So in this YouTube, we will focus on the question of whether or not a person has a true ability by today's formula. If you have seen my other videos, you already know that the major theme of my YouTube is to remove the worst at first. So you have to find out if he is moving around with the worst energy flow on the earth first, goes as suicide energy flow, and Ankansas homicide energy flow. I sum up his CV with directional wisdom like this. This is all I need, and this is enough. Guy A, he started interning at various companies in his home country and other countries when he was a student and got a job at one of them. After three years and 10 months, he changed jobs. From this flow, we can clearly see the following things about this man. His glorious life is already over in 2013. He got back to his country with the worst energy flow, goals as suicide energy flow, in 2014, which proves that his ideas about becoming independent and on his own are completely wrong. He has not gained any realistic skills from this study abroad program, 
and after that, he never ever did any effort to get out from this vast energy flow. This is evidenced by the energy flow that he has been going back and forth between the northeast and the northwest many times. In other words, between mother country and country B. And every year he amplifies the bad energy flow. Since the person move or relocate to the northwest with gorgeous energy flow means that what the person have done so far will be in vain and fail to independent and lose his position, control and power. He started to work with the northwest west energy flow. After that, moved to country B again with Home Texas energy in 2018. Home Texas means to kill the purpose. It destroys the person's fundamental hope and destroys his purpose. In case you are wondering, Prince Harry is a prime example of a failure to move with Home Texas energy flow. I talked about it already in the video, uh, the difference between Navalny, Prince Harry, and Gabby Petito, so please check later. If you go in this direction for business, your business will be ruined. So it can tell us here that his work in country B as a businessman uh, has been a failure. In other words, the money his father spent on him for his education ended up being a sprouge. His life was going well until his early 20s, not because he was good at what he did, but because he had the savings of virtue cultivated in his grandparents' generation. It is crystal clear from the energy difference when he went to country B as a student and when he went to country B as a businessman. In 2013, he went to country B with the maximum auspicious flow, but when he landed as a businessman, he synchronized with bad energy flow. Home Texas, he never ever thought he owed it to his ancestors until now, but he has been misunderstanding that he is a super person with great ability so far for such a long time. In other words, the amazing people with true ability are his grandparents, not him. After all, he quit this company and moved to another company and settled down to Northwest with ultra super deluxe vast energy flow. Not only home Texas, but also Ankansas home Texas. Wow, it's so crazy. <laughs> Home methods are mainly physical damage. It is said that if you move to this direction, uh, you will not live a full lifespan and will die of illness within a few years. So since it collaborates with the Northwest, it suggests that the guy A will get into trouble with assets and securities such as uh, asset management, investment and stocks. And this is exactly what he's doing in a new company, right? He pretends to be an investment expert, but he himself does not have the ability to turn the money to investment and all of the money involved with him so far ends up with consumption. Northwest govern heaven, power, superiors, and the military fortune. It is said to be the place where prosperity reaches its zenith, and where status and power are attained. So no matter what Gaia do, it will be a failure, and everything he set out to do will be killed. After failure, even life will end, but life will be the last. Before that, financial ruin will come. In this case, he repeatedly proves by moving to the Northwest at the wrong time that he is not competent enough to take such a position. And on top of that, he is returning to the Northwest, his homeland, in the direction of the bow of the Northwest, in the bow year. This is called GK energy. It causes the phenomenon of ruining oneself. People synchronized with this GK energy tend to have a lot of hesitation in their lives which coming from his high pride and ideas with immatureness. And uh, a lot of confusions occur in his head. And tend to have a lot of conflicts within themselves that leads to conflict with others. This is an aside, but uh, I have an acquaintance who went on a honeymoon in this direction, GK, and uh, <clears throat> they divorced after a year and a half. During that time, she had three times miscarriage, by the way. The marriage itself was indeed a bad marriage with bad karma. Now that he's approaching 30, there is nothing he can do because he didn't make any effort to let himself grow up to wear his true ability. He has no choice but to live in a state of false food. His ego and pride are even more powerful, but he's only playing the role of a successful person because he lacks the important skills as one human being, not only just the work field. He's rotten to the core. He has no choice but to live a life of pretense. 
Would you still give this man a chance to interview to work for you and waste your valuable time? Okay, next let's go to Guy B. Guy B has been working for the same company for almost 20 years and has moved around a lot in that time. Let's take a look at what those moves have meant to him. This is how I summarize his CV by this direction we saw. First, go to San Kansas check. In his case, unlike Guy A, he started with Gosa's energy, moved to country B from mother country, and, but he successfully got out from Gosa's and moved to country C. This is because Guy B had a great boss in country B who recognized him very much, discovered Guy B's ability, and thanks to this boss, he became very successful and got promoted and moved to country C. Uh, that's awesome. Don't you think? I'd buy it. At this point, it has already been proven that uh, who has true ability, Guy A or Guy B. But <laughs> the problem of Guy B is after that. He started to synchronize courses again to move to mother country in the West 2015, uh, which shows that uh, he is getting crazy again around this time. The question is why? You can know even the reason why. The reason Guy B went back to Ghost's energy flow, this means that uh, it is because he started dating or cheating on his wife with the wrong women. It triggered him to go back to the Northeast Ghosts again in 2016. It wouldn't be surprising if he met the lady of his dreams and got married as a result of his moving to country C, since the uh, Northwest of the Eight Star means uh, huge prosperity and expansion with uh, Tenyu Shinjo. But he got carried away and uh, he didn't cherish it. In other words, uh, the choice to pick the wrong women brought him back into the ghost floor again. So the today's lesson is Susan 16 not only goes but also sci high energy which ends in failure no matter what he does. I feel a strong bad karma, especially the bad relationships between men and women, to this guy's family lineage itself, which was created in his grandparents' generation. Therefore, this man, Guy B, must have been born into this family with the role of resolving this family line's karma. Interestingly, however, Guy A and Guy B are completely opposite. Guy A was born into a family line with a lot of virtue, but due to his own incompetence, he created a trend that led to his family's downfall. Guy B, however, has a family history of bad luck and his destiny is to try to rise up on his own. And he actually has the power. So it's really a pity that he have a tendency to get carried away and back to karmic energy flow. So how do you finally decide whether to hire Guy B or not? We will see about that here. This is assuming that the guy B comes to your company for a job interview in the year 2021. If your company is east from his house, you should hire him. Because this means that uh, he is sincerely sorry for the mistakes he made and wants to make a fresh start. However, if your company's relationship with him is in the northwest southeast flow relationship, it would be wise to reject him. This is the flow where he does not feel sorry for his mistakes but rather justifies them, so God reject to bless him. Therefore, you will get into trouble if you get involved with this person with this flaw. The situation for you never be the investment, but end up with a lot of consumption. So that's it for today. How was that? It can bring to the right things that are very difficult to find out in a normal hiring interview or in the basis of brand worth which the person has. I hope you found out that there is still a lot of depth in my YouTube. Bye bye.